Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-machine.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about one of the most important method of Selenium called get attribute. So this get attribute, if you see in the latest version, it has been deprecated. So when I say latest version, if you're using 4.27 and above, you will see this warning called get attribute is deprecated. Now, if I show you the source code, so you will see this, it has been deprecated. But the interesting part is, if you see here, this method is deprecated. Use get dom property or use get dom attribute for more precise attribute retriever. Now, let me explain you what exactly it does. Now, let's take one example that I'm automating one web application, right? Now, there will be many incidents where you have to verify a couple of attributes. For example, I'm um, verifying the image. I need to validate the source. If I'm working with links, I need to validate the href. Or let's say in this example, this is the form which I need to fill. But as part of my testing activities, I need to verify the type should be email. The placeholder should be enter email, right? Now, if I have to capture this type, I have to capture this placeholder, I have to capture this ID name. I need to call this method called get attribute type, get attribute placeholder, get attribute ID. But if I'm using latest version, so if I show you my pom.xml, I'm using 4.29, which got released last week. So in this latest version, this has been deprecated. Does it mean it will not work? No, it will work. Let me show you. For example, this is the application which I'm automating, which is uh, freelance-learn-version.versal.app. And if I simply inspect, this is having one ID called email one. And now I want to capture one attribute called, let's say, placeholder. So let me type placeholder. So what this get attribute method used to do, it will find that element. Sorry, find element will find the element. Get attribute will check. Do we have this attribute? If yes, it will return the value. Otherwise, it will return null. In my case, I'm giving the proper attribute. So I should get the attribute. Let's say a double T R. And let me print this. As of now, I'm printing, but based on your requirement, you can put assertion. But just to show you that even if you have deprecated method, it will work. But what is the solution that also we'll discuss? But let's quickly execute the code and let's see. So it's going to open freelance and it gave me the placeholder enter email. Now, if it is replicated, should we continue with the deprecated method or should we go with the latest one? See guys, the moment you find any method has been deprecated, it's high time to fix it because they might really uh, remove this in the future releases. At that time, your script will start failing. So when you see any deprecated method, go with the latest one. In this case, now a very important point, in case if you're using older version of Selenium, for example, if I go with the previous releases, let's say if I go with 4.26, 4.26.0, 4 4.26.0. If I save this and come back, see it's building, downloading the previous version downloading the source code and documentation yes it's done let's quickly execute this now notice this time we are not getting this get attribute is deprecated because in 4.26 and the previous version this was working but if you go back to the latest version let's say 4.28 4.28.1 4.29 you will always see this deprecated warning see it got deprecated so as per the documentation, we will be using one method called get dome attribute. Instead of get attribute, we'll go with get dome attribute and they have mentioned it clearly that this method, unlike get attribute, returns the value of the attribute with the given name. So let's go with get dome attribute. And this time again, I will say placeholder. Let me clear this and execute again. So yes, let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it gave me the proper placeholder. By any chance, if I'm giving wrong value or wrong attribute which does not exist, still your program will run, but it will return you null. So let's quickly see the output, null. So the final point, should we remove that applicated method, go with the latest one, answer is yes, because moving forward, you will update the Selenium versions 
and you will keep getting this warning so it's better to change with get dom attribute go with the proper attribute so that in future if they remove this method you have to spend less time on the maintenance yeah so that's all about this video very quick video but important one those who are putting a lot of uh, assertion based on the attributes so thank you so much in case if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe this channel if you are uh, getting this new concept share with your friends and colleagues who are working in selenium and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care